we are now going to have a look at 12D's design templates. So I found under the main menu design and templates, all the tools and the managing techniques are available under this main menu. So clicking in the square brackets, I can pin that menu up onto the screen and we will just go through the list of options. So under the main menu for the templates themselves, we have the list essentially of the templates that are currently within this project and also any removed templates that might be actually within the project themselves, but they won't be able to be selected by users. So these might be old superseded templates, etc. The template manager also provides a list of all those templates currently in the project and the removed template also. So you can see those there. So a couple of different options here. We can create and edit a template quite quickly and easily by just coming through here, create slash edit. Now we'll provide a different video to show you how to create a template from scratch, Neeks essentially on how, how templates can be set up. So I'm not going to go through into, into too much detail now about how those templates do work. But as you can see, we only get a list of the templates that are available within the project themselves. The removed one doesn't come up in that list and so it can't accidentally be edited or selected by a user by mistake. Now to copy a template, it's quite quickly and easily. We can just come across here, select the name of the template and put a new template in there or use the manager so just select the template and there's a clone button available here which essentially takes a copy of the template also to rename the template off the main menu we can come to design templates and rename again we can select the old template well it's not that old but the copied template there and give it essentially a new name here or through the manager just once it is copied or cloned we can come in and we can just change the name here hitting enter and you can see the name of the template is now updated with the new name once we have a list of templates well we can actually remove them or add them back into the project if necessary at any time and those tools are available under the templates utilities so adding a template we just essentially we can add one to the project or all to the to the project but it'll actually only show you a list of the templates which actually have been removed or through the manager again, if you select on the template, there's a little add button here or a plus, we can add it back into the project. And as you can see, that old superseded template is no longer in the list because it actually has been added back into the project. Removing the templates is also quite quick and easy by coming under the templates utilities and removing them. And again, we can remove one or all from the project so that the users can't accidentally select superseded or old templates. So just by selecting it here, picking the name and remove, it will move it down to the bottom to the remove section or selecting it here in the manager. And if you select on the minus button, it also removes it from the project. So the manager is quite quick and easy to use to manipulate, rename and copy slash clone a, a template as necessary. Down the bottom of our list here under the utility tools, um, there can be user options, which may be macros that a user has developed. And we're also quickly able to delete a template or all the templates from a project. So deleting a template, it essentially will come up with the template names here. Or if you wish, you could click on the template over here and select the big red X button and delete one from the project. It will give you a warning saying that the project template will be removed to the trash bin. So if we do that, you can see it's taken out of the, out of the list there um, and it's moved down into the trash can here, which is available always down on the bottom right hand corner there. So that can be brought back if necessary um, at any time. If you click on the permanent delete, it obviously doesn't go to the trash can and so therefore it can't be returned to the project at any stage in the future. The last part is the exporting templates. So this is a quite a handy tool and the functionality with the templates where we can actually output a bunch of templates, either one template or all templates. And then in the future, we can actually add that template back in. The templates currently as they are, are a binary file within 12D. So to make them a bit more portable, we can come to the output and output all the templates. We just need to put in a name for the file. And hit the right button. And this creates a TPL file, which is essentially is a notepad file. We are able to open that up and you can see when you do export it, it will go into the working directory for the project. So I'll open that up and you can see here, here's one of our templates. 
and that just goes down essentially to the end of the curly bracket. So there's the name of the template, the fixed part of the elements, the final, and then it closes that template off and, and so on another template here. You're also able to add to your templates over time. So I could, instead of writing all the templates, I could have just selected one of those templates to output. And if it was a new template, I could come to the list here, select that specific template, find my TPL file, and basically write it. And 12D will want to append that, it'll give you a choice to basically replace the current file, or what's quite handy is actually being able to append to the end of that text pad file or notepad file. So we can build up a list of standard templates we can take from project to project as necessary. We are then also able to input those templates and this is how we can quickly and easily move again um, a template or read a template back into a project. So again, we will read it back in from either the project directory or you might have created some standard templates and move them into the library, the user library. 12D is shipped with some templates, some road templates, etc. But they possibly won't match your council's standards or road authority standards. But you can definitely read them in and then go and edit them as needed. Finally, with the writing and reading of the templates, it is possible and quite easy to actually set up for the more advanced users a chain. So within the chains themselves, there is the, the option to actually delete all the templates, which you actually can see here, it's under the elements here, deleting all the templates, which will essentially clean all the templates out of your project. And once that done, you could actually come back in and read in those templates. And you can see here, I've just recorded the steps to read that template file back in. So now we've set up this option that if the templates you wanted to change or update and restart 12D, we can actually have the templates loaded automatically for new new templates. It is a bit of an advanced technique, but for, for larger organizations, it's quite a handy one to make sure that the standards are available and consistent throughout the organization. Well, that's all we have for time for the templates. Thanks very much.